Yeah. Well in Lucas. Well done Lucas. Good boy. So well done boys, let's come up one by one and come up with the doing the trade for the back, that'd be brilliant. Have some applause if you want.
absolutely first class. Wanting on the tour in the first place, the amount of goals that they scored, so not only the football they played, but the goals they scored. And today's winners for the tournament and the Norwich Council tournament is Leek Waters. Throw that one. Team's the captain. Whoever's the captain, do you want to come at the end? Ben, Sam, ben, Sam, go on, you go, because you had man of the match last week. Hello, young man. Come, Toby, there you go. Man of the pros, please. Oh, that's right, man. Alright guys, big cheers then for the winners of the tournament. Pete Watson, there you go boys, enjoy yourself. Oh. 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 to the chase and name the person straight away because the suspense is killing me. So most improved player for the Sharks is Isaac Russell. Yeah. Well done, Isaac. So I think everyone else is sort of on the same vein. A number of boys have really improved throughout the season but Isaac you are the standout for me. Each week Isaac has got better and better and I honestly cannot remember the last time he lost the 1v1 in defence. No one seems to be able to get past you. Isaac is an absolute rock in defence, throws his body bravely at everything and has blocked countless shots. Most of his great performances, as we know, have come when his mother Julia hasn't been present. <laughs> However, yesterday, she, like the rest of us, saw what a solid and reliable player Isaac has become. Isaac has added pace to his game, often seen sprinting back and making superb tackles, and his marauding runs forward are becoming a regular occurrence. So the highlight for me was during the Hillmorton Round Robin Cup match when Isaac found himself 2v1. He held up the play, made a superb tackle and even won a goal kick in the process. Well done Isaac, you've been awesome, well done. So, manager's award, getting to the chase, is Luca. So, as we know, this award for the being very consistent, playing level, training, attitude and behaviour. And honestly, that just fits Luca perfectly. Luca has had a standout year and has consistently pulled out great performances. He's brave, calm, collective whilst playing in defence and is so creative when attacking. He performs to a high standard no matter what position he plays and Luca always battles and never, never gives up. In training, Luca is always focused 
He listens and he's happy to take on feedback. Luca is never lazy and trains with intensity. So many highlights for you, Luca, this year. You've made fantastic saves in goal, made countless assists playing in midfield. But for me, outstanding volley against rugby in the cup is up there with the very best. Great balance in technique, and overall, you are just an all round cracking player. Well done, Luca. Right, player's player, as you know, voted by the players and their parents, is Sam. Yeah. Well done, Sam. So, Sam is a well-deserved winner of this award. He's had a phenomenal season and has scored some amazing goals. Sam leads the line superbly, always sprints to close down the ball. Holds the ball up well and is even eager to uh, set his teammates up to score a goal. Sam, as we know, is super competitive and wants to win everything, whether it's every match or noughts and crosses warm up in training. He wears his heart on the sleeve and he's a real team, team player and also challenges himself to get better and better each week. He's had a lot of knocks this year as he's faced some aggressive defenders. Yeah. However, each week he comes back stronger and often becomes my mini manager, encourages his teammates with the words of advice that I've said the week before. Sam has scored a number of top in goals, but the highlight has to be the winner with the last kick of the game against St. Peter Celtic in the Kenilworth Wardens final. Absolute scenes. Well done, Sam. Yeah. Yeah. Over to you, Don. won the next round and were even 2 0 up against a Red League opponent before losing in the quarter-final. Still, a good run of friendlies saw the boys win the under-9s Kenilworth Wardens trophy, beating the hosts on the way to the final and then beating Red League and a higher tier St Peter's Celtic with the last kick in the final, as we heard about earlier. A week or so later, the boys won their second tournament in a row, winning the Calsa Under Nines competition, thanks to their superior goal tally. The boys all have a great fighting spirit and very rarely give up. They work hard and are all improving. All their effort over the season came together during those two tournaments. Long may they keep improving next season. This is special to me because I coach these boys for a little bit myself, so this is really good. This year's most improved team are the Under-9 Sharks, James Ball's team. Brilliant. You ready, Con?